Good afternoon everybody, this is Nelka again and while I am working with my landscape lighting design techniques ebook, somebody asked me what is the lighting standard of a pedestrian. What is the lux value of a pedestrian or pathways or pathwalks based on the lighting standards. So I opened some of my um, books. This one is from Landscape Lighting. The, the value is from IES Lighting Handbook. And based on this one, walkway said that for commercial areas, the, the walkways or the pathwalk should have at least 10 lux. For the intermediate areas, should be 5 lux. And for the residential areas, should have at least 2 lux. For park walkways, at least 5 lux. And for pedestrian tunnels, 20 lux. And pedestrian overpass is um, 2 lux. While for pedestrian with stairways, uh, with light surfaces, it should have at least 200 lux. Stairways because uh, there is now difference in elevation. So I think that's why the requirements is higher. So aside from this IS lighting handbook, I also open uh, requirements from um, L. Um, LG6 or lighting guide for the exterior environment. So this is from Sibse. And it says here that the walkways exclusively for pedestrians should have at least 5 blocks. And the traffic, this is for the vehicles and trucks, 10. And the pedestrian passage and vehicle turning, loading and loading is 50 blocks. While here in the handbook of Thorn Lighting, I think this is also based from Sibse. So the pedestrian precincts should have 5 blocks and for the squares or open areas is again 5 blocks. While for squares like high pedestrian use uh, similar to commercial areas, uh, 10 blocks is the requirements. And for level footpaths, the minimum should have 1 blocks. The footpaths that has levels, again it has a different elevations, so it should be higher. And then the footpaths with steps, similar to the stairs, but it's for outdoor, should have at least five blocks. And the outdoor staircase, now it's staircase, should have 15 blocks. And the underpass should have at least 60 blocks. So the uh, SIBSE and the IES or IES NASH uh, has a little difference, but more or less the minimum is five blocks. If you remember the previous uh, video that I created, uh, the client requires 10 lux for the path walk and like what I mentioned, the standard is based on the minimum. So you can go more than the requirements of 5 lux. And of course, if it's a commercial area, 10 lux is required because there are so many lights now. And I opened one of my projects here because I'm working with my landscape lighting design techniques, ebooks, and um, courses. By the way, if you want to go and check this course about landscape lighting design and my ebooks, go and visit uh, udemy.com and my website and rocolightingdesign.com. So you can see here, this is one of the pedestrian area, but it's under the commercial part. So if you go and check this one, you will see that it has an average of 10 lux. You see this blue color, it's 10 lux. Uh, it complies with the lighting design requirements, with it, which is 10 lux for a commercial space. So, yeah, so that's it for now. And I hope you visit my website and check my uh, Udemy course and my new ebook for, uh, for about light, landscape lighting design. Alright, so see you again on the next video.